Hello, welcome to chapter 13, lesson four. Today we're going to be talking about measuring area. So last lesson was about perimeter, where we're measuring the rim. See what I did there? Perimeter. And we see the word rim. We measure the rim for the perimeter. Today we're going to be talking about area. Now area would be, I like to think of it as if you're going to put carpet in your house. When you're like, let's say you have a rectangular room and you want to put carpet in. You don't put carpet around the outside, right? You put carpet in the inside. So the area tells us how much flat space we have on the inside. Um, so area is the number of square units needed to cover a figure without overlapping. Sometimes you need to count the number of half square units covered by the figure. So here are some examples of half square units. It could be cut diagonally, uh, vertically, or horizontally to figure out a half. So let's take a look and find the area of some shapes. In art class, Haley drew the figure at the right on a grid paper. What is the area of the figure Haley drew? Our first step is we're gonna count the number of whole squares. So if I count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, I get fourteen whole squares. And then our second step is we're going to count the number of half squares. So we've got one half square here and one half square here. So if we have two halves, you can see right here, we kind of put them on top of each other to make one whole. So if I take 14 whole squares plus two half squares or one whole square, I would get 15 whole squares. So the area is 15 square units. Notice for perimeter, we just called them units. Now when we're talking area, we're calling them square units. So the reason for that is because before when we're doing the perimeter, perimeter we're just using part of the square, right? But when we're talking area, we're using the whole square. And so that's why when we're doing perimeter, we would just do feet, um, yards, inches. When we're doing or area, we would be doing yards. And then we put a little two up there to show that we're talking about yards squared, inches squared, and so on. Okay, so sometimes the units on drawings or figures represent another unit of measurement. Okay, so example two, Raphael created the geoboard figure at the right to represent a design he created. One square unit on the geoboard represents one square centimeter on the design. What is the area of this design? So our first step is going to be counting the whole squares. We have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight whole squares. Now let's see how many half squares. I'll do half squares in a different color here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm seeing eight half squares. So eight half squares, so if I'm gonna pair them up in two, because I know two makes one whole, one half and one half, one half and one half, one half and one half, one half and one half. So that'd be eight halves, so that means we have one, two, three, four holes. Okay, so I have eight whole squares plus eight half squares. I could also rewrite this as eight whole squares plus four whole squares, if I take those halves and pair them up. So that would make 12 whole squares. So the area of this shape is 12 square units. The area of the design is 12 square centimeters. So I also write this, I could write this capital A is equal to 12 CM with a little two above it. it means the same thing, squared centimeters, centimeters squared is how we would say this, same thing. All right, let's find the area of these guys. So first, we always start with our whole squares. One, two, three holes. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just going to do three plus. Then let's see how many halves we have. One, two, three halves. So two one halves. These two make a hole. And then we have one half left over. Okay, so three and one makes four plus one half is four and a half square units. And here we have a whole, let me pick a different color, it's hard to see. So we have one, two, three, four holes plus two one halves, and we know two halves make a hole. So we, this area is five square units. Okay, let's look for our holes. And you know I'm saying W-H-O-L-E, not H-O-L-E. We're not looking for holes in the ground, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve holes here. And one, two, three, four, one halves. Four one halves. We know these two are going to make a hole, and these two are going to make a hole, and so therefore we have two holes. So 12 plus 1 plus 1 is 14 square units. Okay, let's count how many holes we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six holes plus one, two, one halves, which would be another hole. So I have seven square units for an area for number two. Okay, let's see what these guys have to say. Oh, this one's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight square meters is what this one would be. Because it says each square, each unit on here represents one square meter. Right here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 square meters. And I do really recommend making some sort of mark in each square so that you know if you've counted it or not. For exercises 5 and 6, refer to the drawing at the bottom right, which represents the area of Elaine's bedroom. What is the area of Elaine's bedroom in square units? Okay, let's count those holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus 2 halves, which is another hole, equals 15 square units. There we go. Uh, okay. If each square unit represents five square feet, what is the area of Elaine's bedroom in square feet? So this is, you guys can see it, I can't, but we said it was 15 square units. So if each one represents five feet, I need to do 15 times five to figure out what is the area of her bedroom. Five times five is 25. Five times one is five plus two more is seven. So the area of Elaine's bedroom is 75 feet squared. Oh, sorry, they call it square feet. Square feet. How did we find the answer? There's my work to prove how I found my answer. Okay, what is area? Area is the space on the inside of a shape of a shape cut into squares. Right, because we just take the space on the inside and we cut them into equal squares and see how many squares can fit in there. What is the area of the figure at the right? Okay, first count the holes. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, plus two halves, that'd just be a whole, equals 13 square feet. And that's all I have for you for today. Thanks for watching till the very end. You are awesome. Keep up the hard work, and we'll see you tomorrow.